My name is Mr. Khan. Um, I'm with the Parkway Resident Association. Um, we do a lot of uh, meetings uh, once a month um, with the local uh, residents. They have, if they have, they have any issues, we have a councillor uh, present there and the police. So if they have any local issues, they uh, put it down, knock it down, and then uh, they can take it back to the police. So if you have any complaints or if they have no you know, answers back or with the council, they just take it back and deal with it. Uh, Mr Khan's lived in Stockton for 40 years now and I think has used um, his time in Stockton to really um, break down barriers between the, the, the communities in Stockton. Parkfield and Mill Lane is a very diverse community and uh, Mr Khan has been an ambassador for the Asian community in particular. Some really important work that Mr Khan's been directly involved in is, um, is allowing myself and other agencies to engage with the um, Asian community in Stockton um, and recently we've, we've had two very successful drug awareness sessions in both of the, the local mosques in Stockton which Mr Khan was, was very helpful in, in, in arranging. Um, we also have other issues that Mr Khan's been involved in, um, again in relation to the health agenda and I know he's a, an active and founder member of a local Asian men's walking club which again um, ill health diabetes and heart disease in particular is a big problem for our Asian community in Stockton. It is very important uh, to keep everybody together and um, you know uh, keep everybody out, out, out of trouble and uh, keep working together and keep the community happy. Hiya, my name is Brian Laverick and I'm the organiser of the Boundary 500 Motorcycle Group. The group first started in 2006. It was in that year that the crew of the uh, Cumbria Air Ambulance, all good friends, were away on a climbing holiday in Scotland. And tragically, the doctor, Rupert Bennett, fell to his death. The pilot, Jim Martin, was also very, very seriously injured. And the paramedic, John Kerr, was also seriously injured. When I looked at, at the Air Ambulance, I couldn't believe that it relied solely on donations from members of the public to survive and provide an emergency cover. So I looked at the area and to go around it was about 500 miles, so hence that's where the name the Boundary 500 came from. Well it all started in June 2006 and I advertised it as a ride for charity and asked people if they could take part then could they raise a minimum of £30 sponsorship. They should have come back with about £4,000 and they came back with about 33000 and there was an overwhelming desire that this event had to continue. I'm very pleased for the organisation because what I found with the Boundary Group is that whilst I might be a figurehead, it, it's really like a community spirit and it's fantastic to be part of it. It's not a case of what's in it for me, it's a case of what can I help, what can I do to help and, and it's so refreshing in today's society that they just want to help. Uh, my name's Paul McIntosh. Um, I've been organising the Stokesy bike ride now for the last 11 years. Started up in 1998 for a young lady called Chloe Brown. And we've been doing uh, different charity rides every year since for local charities in the Cleveland area. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been cycling a while and um, we, we've, um, myself and uh, three mates, uh, Bob, Steve and uh, Marty, uh, we've done rides into Europe, Paris, um, Brussels, places like that and uh, raise, raise money along the way. So just, just enjoy cycling, yeah. I feel as though that the money that we do raise must go to the actual charity, not administration or research, but it's one of the things that we like to insist on is that when we do raise the money, the money is actually used for a piece of equipment or something like that that would actually benefit the charity rather than the money going into administration and, and research.